Hey guys, this is your girl Lee. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be shooting episode 9. Ooh, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So we're about to be at episode 10. That is crazy. So today I'm going to be talking about um, something that's like real personal to me because I've been dealing with like a lot of self-hate of my body, not myself, but I guess that's myself, but I have been on a mission the past couple of weeks. Um, I've been trying to get on this like routine uh, workout regimen um, because I am trying to lose weight and that's like a huge topic that a lot of us seem to want to do, but sometimes we just don't know how to get started. So... I wanted to talk to you guys today about like my personal journey that I I am on because I'm trying to get my sexy back y'all like I'm not getting any younger I've got two beautiful daughters and I want to get my figure back like I've been trying to get this figure back for like a year but it's been tough because I've been dealing with drama and sleepiness and fatigue and a whole bunch of crap. So, I literally lost myself last year, and I gained, like, all of this weight, and there was, like, no way in God's name, and some of these jeans that I got, oh my gosh, I can't even pull them all the way up, it's so sad, like, I just literally, I sat there, I was like, I can't do this anymore, I started crying, because, you know, like, people don't understand, like, when you have kids, like, your whole body changes, y'all, like, you get hit, some of us get, you know, leftover fat, you know, like, it's crazy, like, people don't understand unless they have kids that <laughs> your whole body changes, so I'm going to be talking about my personal Joni, Joni, journey <laughs> that I want to endure, um, because I am trying to lose this weight, guys, so we're gonna do this together, like, even if you get started today after watching my video, like, I want you to feel inspired, guys, because you can do it, you can do it, but before I, um, get into that, I do want to say a couple things about Andre Rose LLC, you know, I gotta say a little tidbit at the beginning of the videos, so just to let you guys know, um, my website is in construction, in construction, under construction right now, so I'm going to be revamping the website, it's going to be called The Remix, The Remix, so basically it's still shoppable guys, so don't be afraid to go on the website and shop, because it's still shoppable, it's going to look exactly the same, but behind closed doors I'm going to be kind of conversing making new backgrounds and things like that and um, opening up stuff like I'm about to make like new shirts and stuff to kind of remix some of the, of the shirts that I feel as though need to get pulled but they're going to be revamped so it's going to be remixed so right now we got a 15% off sale until the website reopens up um, with its new remix look so it's still shoppable y'all so all the shops on the website are super shoppable you can still get your favorites so make sure you head over to andrerosellc.com the link is in the bio of my page so make sure you go and subscribe so um and also next friday february 28th yes february 28th No, I'm going to make it maybe next Wednesday. I will be making a major announcement. I need you guys to pay attention because it's a major announcement for Andre Rose LLC. I need you guys to ride with me. Ride this wave. We're about to be expanding Andre Rose LLC. I got a special important message happening. So next Wednesday, February 26th, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop that video so that way you guys can understand what's happening what i'm trying to do for my brand because you know honestly like sales been kind of low but you know what we're gonna still go with it we still gonna ride the wave you know shout out to all the small businesses coming up you guys look amazing um, i'm actually going to an event this weekend to support my girl 
um, because she got her own line and I want to go and support her. And then the other businesses that's there, we're about to connect, you know, it's all about building each other up. So shout out to you guys, but please stay tuned. Episode 10 is going to showcase, um, what we're going to be doing for Andre Rose LLC moving forward. Um, and also, um, if you get to 20, my 20th subscriber, I am looking for you. If you end up being my 20th subscriber, you can get a prize, whether it's a hat, a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to be coming out with mugs, guys. Uh, mugs is a thing now. So I'm going to be making my own mug, I guess. So you can sit, you know, watch my videos, chill. So I want you guys to kind of like pay attention. Make sure you guys are watching all my videos. Um, so that way you, 20th subscriber, can get a prize. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. Once the website relaunches, we will be having lots of giveaways. Um, so you guys can, you know, join my join my party. You know, I, I appreciate you guys following me this long. All my supporters, you guys are so freaking awesome. But we are almost seven minutes into the video, so let's get into it. So let's start with me. So... I want to say, like a few years ago, um, after delivering my first daughter, Nova, I went down, not really went down, but I feel as though I gained a lot of weight. Of course, you know, I gave birth to a beautiful eight pound, seven ounce, beautiful little girl, beautiful, just the best thing in the world to ever remember is just this beautiful little baby, but what I did not want to remember is this beautiful little chub that came in my tummy from carrying her. So, um, it was a very hard time for me. So, you know, I always was a stickler about my weight. A lot of people have been a stickler about my weight, like doctors before when I was younger. And then when I got into high school, the peer pressure, seeing all those girls. And I mean, I wasn't fat. Like, I don't even want to say the word fat because that's a bad word. I, I, I didn't feel like I wasn't, like, out of shape, but I felt out of shape um, because I always had a little belly. I always had a little, little belly, but you got to understand I was eating good. You know, I, I was living in a happy home, you know. I wasn't really, like, super active, so I didn't have, like, sports to keep me kind of like that until I went into gym. Or I felt the need to exercise. Like, exercise has been a part of my regimen since I was younger as well. But I would have to find time. But going to school and hanging with friends and things like that, like, it consumes your energy. So I would just go home, eat, sleep. Next day, kind of do the same routine. You know, I try to get up, do some, some exercises. And, you know, it, it was when I had time. But now it's like, you know, as I got older, when I got into college, like I started making time to take my behind over to the track because the track was only about five minutes away from my house. Um, I used to run all the time. I used to do 10 laps around the track. And then um, after that, I would, um, you know, I feel real good. Like I was all sweaty and stuff and I felt like my legs was getting toned. I was getting real cute, you know, but then... Here comes school with all the classes. And then I was working two jobs. I was a manager, you know. And then I was working a second job. And then this is when I had no kids, y'all. So this, you know, I'm sitting here like battling this weight. You know, I, by the time I got home, it was like 11, 12 o'clock at night. I didn't even eat dinner. So I'm eating late, you know. So I ended up gaining a little bit, you know. But it wasn't too bad. Like, I wasn't too bad. But as soon as I delivered my daughter <laughs> that right there I, it was a lot it was a lot of pressure on me I was going through a tough time like a really 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 tough time um trying to be a new mom uh trying to maintain my new crib trying to maintain a job you know trying to do everything under the sun and the thing that I was ignoring was my weight so here I am just you know just <clears throat> going through daily life, whatever, and then I noticed 
as months went by in 2016, in 2016, um, I started gaining weight and I started not fitting my pants. And I'm like, oh, I cannot do this. Like, I just cannot do this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I was going through a lot of depression. And honestly, like, I, there was a point where I was upset with myself. Like, I had, like, a really toxic relationship I was in. And I ended up losing, like, 50 pounds. Like, it, like, dropped, like, in maybe a week. I ended up losing, like, 40, 50 pounds. And honestly, to be honest with you, as bad as it sounds... <laughs> I felt great because I fit into pants I never could fit into before. There was this romper, and I told myself I was going to fit back into this romper after I, de after I delivered my daughter. And the romper slid right up. It slid right up. I felt great. Everything was cool. But then here comes 2017. Like, I, like I was able to maintain my weight um, all the way up until the summertime of 2017 because da 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 that's when I got pregnant with my second daughter, Navya. So, I was cool all the way up until that point. But then as soon as September rolled around, that's when I started feeling the baby symptoms. You know, like, something ain't right. You know, it's everything stinks. So, you know, I took a home pregnancy test and there it was. So, you know, I carried my baby all the way full out. Like, she was 8 pounds, 7 ounces. Well, they both was the same weight. So, I carry basically 16 pounds and 14 ounces in my body. So, that really stretched out my body. Now, Navia, <clears throat> she gave me some hips. Navia gave me some hips. So, once I delivered her, I was always, I delivered her in the spring. So, I was wearing dresses, and then when summertime came, it was the shorts. But I could only wear stretchy shorts because I was still, I had two C-sections, y'all, two. Two C-sections. So, just imagine they moving your body parts and stuff around in there. Then you got that excess fat just sitting there. So, it's a little harder for us moms that have to do C-sections because... The way that they, like, shift stuff in your stomach and that extra poogee, poogee, poogee at the bottom, it's hard to lose that, y'all. So, to my mommies out there that still got the little fufa, don't feel bad about the fufa because we deliver beautiful babies and they're here. So, you know, the fufas, the fufas come from us basically doing what our body needed to do. We had to eat. We couldn't starve our kid. Couldn't starve our kid. You know, we do minimal exercise, you know, stay active and fit. You know, some people get, some people are blessed and they get to keep their beautiful little figure. But some of us, unfortunately, we gain the weight. You know, you gain it like 40 pounds, you know. So, ever since I had my second daughter, it's been a battle trying to lose this weight. Like, I've been doing everything under the sun. And then I met my ex-fiance. And... You know, like, when you boot up and stuff like that, you know, just chilling and stuff, you get that relationship weight. So, on top of me not only delivering my daughter, I ended up getting relationship weight. So, it, it became even harder to get it off. <laughs> so, after that, um, I didn't know what to do after that. I was trying to find different ways to, like, exercise and stuff like that. But, you know, I just felt comfortable. You know, my dude telling me I look good and stuff. He could be lying, but whatever. Um, you know, I'm feeling good, whatever. But then inside, I felt trapped. And when I mean trapped, I mean I couldn't breathe, y'all. I mean I could not breathe. I was panting every five minutes, like, on the outside, like, it don't look too bad, but on the inside, I'm, like, running out of breath like I just ran a marathon, like, that's not a good feeling at all, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not a good feeling at all, so, you know, at that point, you would have thought I got the hint, right, no, no, I just kept eating after 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, y'all, which you should not do, unless it's, like, a fruit or something, you can do that, but... I started eating late, and that took a toll on my body, so I felt like I was getting fat in my chest, and I went to the doctor, y'all, and this is, like I said, I share personal stories, because this is real life, y'all. I went to the doctors, 
And they listed me as being a pre-diabetic, man. A pre-diabetic. I said a pre-diabetic. They said, listen, if you don't change your habits. Now, this was this past November in 2019. So... You know, they, the doctor basically said, well, it was a nurse practitioner. She basically said, look, you this close to being pre-diabetic, this close, this close, this close. So when she said that, I'm like, what can I do to fix it? I got to fix this shit. Cause I'm not trying, one, I'm not trying to lose my life. You know, it's, I'm not trying to die, you know, because of the fact that I couldn't maintain my weight. Like I'm not. Try, cause I'm little, y'all. I'm like five two, man. I'm five two. I'm at little, <laughs> so you know I'm trying to maintain my weight with all this new body part things going on. Like I got hips now. I mean I got a little booty happening. You know, you know I'm kind of like out here. You know what I mean? So you know it, it's hard for us moms sometimes to kind of lose weight and even people who don't have kids it's a little if they don't understand the difficulties it is to just try to lose weight like we love food you could try to change your food um as many times as you want to but sometimes that don't even work it don't even happen because it's it's like you'll start good like yeah i have my diet and then you'll break the diet like I need some wings. Like, I want some wings. I want some fries. Like, there has to be a way for us to lose weight without having to sacrifice what we really love to eat. So, once the nurse practitioner told me that um, I'm pretty much, like, pre-diabetic, um, I was like, okay, I got to change this ASAP, man, because I don't feel good. I don't feel myself. Like, mind y'all, you know, at this point, I was single, you know, I'm like, all right, what can I do to get back to me? Because me, back in the day, y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I was sitting here wearing crop tops, high waist shorts, boobs out, you know. I was looking good, lipstick on, you know, looking all, you know, cute. But now I'm a mom, so it's like I got to tighten up a little bit. Like, I got to kind of get that, that curve going a little bit, you know, because it's like I want to feel good. I got to have energy for my girls because they are active. I got to make sure I have enough energy to do work and photo shoots and play time with baby and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to have energy for. So I'm going to share with you guys what I've been doing. So the past couple of weeks, I've been um, on a, a routine. I can't even talk. My God. Um, I've been on a workout routine and no matter how tired I was, I, um, Still make time to get up and do my exercise routine. Like, guys, if you look at my face now compared to some of my videos, my face actually slimmed down a lot. So I'll do, like, a big – I'm not big on, like, before and after pictures because my body right now is just totally – like, I mean, it's smaller, it's smaller than what it was weeks ago, but I, I just don't like taking those pictures, so I'm not. But God bless you guys who do do those, because you guys are inspirational. Um, I'm going to be inspirational by a video, <laughs> because I don't do the before and after. I mean, I really should, but I'll do, I'll do a side-by-side -side once, you know, I get to where I need to be at. But the past couple of weeks, I've been exercising. I always make sure that I eat dinner. Before 9 o'clock, I mean, there's been a couple times I slipped up because, you know, as a single mom out here, like, it's hard. So, there's a couple times I slipped up, but me and the girls normally eat before 9 o'clock. So, that way, the food has time to settle in, you know, and then I get the girls to bed. I mean, my daughters are pretty much my workout as well. Chasing them around the house, trying to get them ready for bed, all that stuff. So, by the time they go to bed, you know, it's late. So... I have a workout regimen. I do a 45-minute workout every night. Squats, sit-ups, jumping jacks, arm circles. I have weights. I do the pum pum. you know, trying to exercise my arms, making sure everything's tight, you know, making sure when I do my uh, squats, I hold my hands out. If I don't have, like, a weight or something, you can do weights or you can hold your hands out. But I always do that and I spread my legs wide. So that way when you're squatting, your butt and your legs can feel it as you're going up and down, up and down. So I do that every night, uh, five nights a week. So 
you know, there are some days, excuse me, that um, I do it seven days a week and I do it straight, but I do take rest periods. Um, there are times where I would do some of the exercises, not all of them. Like the other night, like I was tired from work, you know, I'm tired from the girls. So I decided to do, I picked my top three. I did my neck circles, I did my squats, and my sit-ups. So, you know, you don't have to do all of them. You got to do it at your pace. Um, so, guys, if you're feeling discouraged, it just start with one exercise. That's one of my um, one of my tips. Start with one exercise and work your way up. You don't have to push yourself to the extreme until your body feels ready to do that. Because if you do that, you're gonna fucking pass out. Oh, excuse me, I mean curse. But you're gonna you're gonna pass out. Um, you're gonna pass out. So you don't want to do that. I actually was diagnosed with vertigo, so I can't do but so much because if I end up pushing myself to the limit, what will happen is I'm going to pass out and I could potentially die from that because vertigo can get bad because you get dizzy and dizzy and dizzy and there's no cure for that once you're diagnosed with that. So um, you want to pace yourself. Please pace yourself. Do one set at a time. Wall sits. Those things hurt your legs, but you got to think, you got to think, and just, you know, just focus. You got to focus, because those things hurt. When you're sitting on the wall, all the wall sits, those are those are, those are are very extreme, guys. So if you got good glutes, good for you, and good leg strength, good for you, because those are very, I tried that a few weeks, no, a few months ago, and I, like, almost cried. <laughs> so I'm never doing those again. So you want to make sure you're doing um, things at your own pace. Um, again, eat dinner at a good time. Don't overeat. Don't do just enough to make you nice and full. You don't have to sit there and eat lettuce. You don't have to sit there and indulge yourself in like, you know, stir fry. If you don't want stir fry, you want some meat or something like nobody's telling you to cut out. I mean, the red meats I heard, you know, those are bad. So, you know, cut, just limit yourself on stuff like that. Cut your salts down. Um, sugars. Lots and lots of sugars. I don't eat a lot of sugars. So that's another reason why I've been dropping weight like crazy because I don't eat a lot of sugars like that. Um, so you want to make sure you watch your sugar intake, y'all, because that is something serious. Cause that can build real quick. Um, I have actually a gallon of water. See, everybody be getting me all messed up when they come over to my house and think something's wrong with me because I got this pitcher of water. I mean, this gallon of water. And I'm always just chugging it like a man. But I have a pitcher of water in the refrigerator, but I specifically have a gallon of water from the gallon um, challenge, the water challenge. Ever since I did that water challenge, I've always kept the gallon of water. Now it's an everyday thing for me. So I always drink at least all the way down to the bottom of the... Um, I can't even remember. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, my um, jug, my gallon. So I drink all the way down to my gallon. Um, so that way, you know, I feel I feel refreshed. Like, I feel cool. Like, it feels great. Don't forget to get sleep, guys. Sleep is another thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't get sleep. <laughs> so that's another thing why um, I couldn't get the weight off as easily because I never get to sleep, and that's just a reality for me, unfortunately, so I have to balance it either way. So make sure you get lots of sleep, um, and also uh, make sure you take time for yourself. Self-care, guys, like I mentioned in the video before for the mental health, self-care goes a long way, long way. <coughs> so make sure, take them spa days, go lay in the tub, put the candles on, <coughs> listen to meditation music. You know, do things that make you happy. Play video games. Chill out. All my gamers out there, sit, play video games. You know, so you want to make sure you do things that make you happy because that also sheds weight too. Happy weight. It will just come right off. Just come right off. So, my journey for this video is almost 25 minutes in. I'm about to end it in a few minutes. But, um, what I plan to do, guys, I'm going to have you guys follow me through my weight loss journey. Um... So like I said, I mentioned that a few weeks ago I have been get, I began exercising. And honestly, guys, I've shed some pounds. I shed some pounds. You can see it in my face. Like my face is getting all nice and small again. Um, my waist is getting smaller. Everything has been shedding ever since I've been committed. And you have to be committed. That's the number one thing. You have to be committed. If you're not committed, 
then you're not going to get the result you're looking for. So I've been dedicated the past couple of weeks, and I feel freaking amazing, guys. I go to work with four hours of sleep, and I'm telling you, four hours of sleep, but because I exercised the night before, I am fully energetic. And my coworker's like, why you got so much energy? Be like, I, I worked out last night, guys. I don't even care that I got four hours of sleep. I worked out. I feel great. Like, my body feels great, amazing, because I've been taking care of myself to the point where I don't want to have to feel as though I'm trapped in my body. Like, I can breathe. I feel great. Like, it feels fantastic, you know? And if you love yourself, people are going to love you, too. So the next couple of weeks, um, probably starting after episode 10, I'm going to take you guys on a journey on how I plan to lose weight. I'm probably going to try a little bit of supplements, like, you know how they got, like, that flat tummy tea and things like that. Like, I'll try some of that stuff to see if it actually works, and then I'll have my reviews on YouTube to let you guys know, like, if it actually works for me. And if it does, then I'm going to recommend that you guys get it, too, if you're trying to do, you know, have a weight loss journey. Um, I'm trying to get back down to my cute little size where I can put my jeans back on. <laughs> I'm not throwing my jeans out. I got too many pairs of jeans in that closet. I literally effing cried. Like, I couldn't put one pair on. I literally had to repeat the same pair for, like, months because I don't have, I didn't have the weight. But now, I've been able to slip on pants now. They're slowly coming back. Um, I used to be a 14, 15. I am now back down to a 12. Okay? 12, 12. So... You know, I'm excited about my weight loss journey, and I just want to be healthy. You got, guys, you just want to be healthy. You just, you just want to be healthy. for it. Not only if you have kids, for your kids, your family, your friends, for yourself. Do it for yourself. Do it for you. Do it for you because I guarantee you, you're going to feel so amazing, and you're going to be so proud of yourself because at the end of the day, like, you want to, you only have one body. So I want you guys to, you know, do things that make you happy. Dance. Listen. I'm listening to my, my Spanish music. You don't understand. I've been dancing my behind off past couple days. Like, I feel everything getting tight, you know? Like, my number one regimen dancing is so much fun. Listen to some Chris Brown. I was dancing to Roddy Rich, the box at work, you know, just, you know? You want to you wanna make sure that you're doing stuff that will help you. At work, um, I sit down at a desk. And guess what I do? I sit there and exercise. <laughs> I sit there and exercise. I'll do arm circles. I'll do like leg crunches, just sitting there like that. You know, just doing different things because I want to make sure that I feel great. I don't want to feel like I want to feel like um I'm trapped in my body because if you told me if I didn't have this motivation years ago, I felt super trapped in my body, and that's not a good feeling at all. So I want you guys to understand that. If you feel as though you can't do it, yes, you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can lose this weight. You know, even I love my BBW girls. You guys are so freaking cute. Oh, my God. The body positivity that I absolutely adore. I just love the fact that you love yourself. Like, you need to love yourself. Like, I freaking love, I don't care how people feel. I freaking love Lizzo. That is my girl. Oh, my goodness. That is my girl. Shout out to Lizzo. That girl and that body positivity. Love your body. Because guess what, people? You only get one. And sometimes, unfortunately, when you get to a certain weight, you know, sometimes it's hard to shut it off. And you just accept who you are and that's it. You know, there's beautiful BBWs. There's beautiful thin women. There's beautiful average women. There's beautiful thick women. Like, we all, you know, thick people. People in general. Like, you guys are beautiful. Like, us as a people, we're beautiful. So you need to embrace your body, embrace your happiness. If you feel as though you need to lose weight like me, because I feel trapped, you know, um, <clears throat> do what you got to do to make to bring, you, to bring you back here. Bring you back. Bring you back. So, um, I, again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, 30 minutes like usual. <laughs> I try to make a 10-minute video and it never happens. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching me. Uh, again, I'm looking for my 20th subscriber. I'm at 16, guys. <laughs> 16 is such a low number, but I ju I'm just getting started, so it's cool. It's all good. So my 20th subscriber, I'm going to be looking for you. I'm going to have a prize for you, um, and then, you know, I'll probably email you or something, like, with your email, you know, and then I'll ask you for your address, and then I'll go ahead and ship you your free items. So make sure you subscribe, 
like and comment this beautiful video. Um, what are your goals? Do you have any goals of losing weight or doing something different this year to make you feel whole? Like, leave your comments below, guys. I'm always waiting for comments. I haven't gotten any yet, but I do get a lot of commentary outside of the video. And then they're asking me, I'm like, well, why don't you put it in the comments? So <laughs> make sure you comment. Um, again, like and subscribe. Again, go to AndreRoseLLC.com. We're having a, web, uh, a website sale, 50% off each shop. Um, again, I just want to thank you guys for watching me. And um, this is your girl, Lee. So look out for the next video, video 10. Woo, 10. We made it to 10. Hey, 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 hey. All right, I hope everybody has a blessed weekend, y'all. It's Thursday, but have a blessed weekend. So that way, um, start feeling good. This is your girl, Lee. Take care.